Okay, so we're here on this beautiful beach in Bali, and I'm going to show you what we're going to shoot, first of all. From the background, we're going to start with that building over there, and from there, we're going to move everything across that you see behind me all the way out to the ocean out there. And we're going to cover that all in one, one picture. Well, we're going to take about 80 pictures, I'm guessing. Out of all these, we will then stitch them together, and we'll have this image which is 70 gigabytes in size with an amazing resolution. So how we start, first of all, is let's focus the camera. Uh, okay, we have the focus and the camera is there. So now I'm going to start with a line running right across the horizon, one straight line, side portrait size. All right, so here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm going to continue this way all the way across. When I'm finished, I'm going to lift it up. I'm going to shoot the horizon all the way across this way. Then I'm going to drop it down and I'm going to shoot the, the lower section of, the, of this image all the way across till about there. Then what I'm going to do is something crazy. I'm going to show you that Photoshop is able to stitch whatever it gets. Look at this. I'm shooting sideways this way, sideways that way, this way, this way, this way, this way, a few straight across like this. And it just continues. We're going to stitch all those together and see what we have. All right, so let's leave this beautiful beach in Bali and go and see what we can do in our editing room. Okay, so we're back from the beach. We've taken all the images. We've shot um, 96 of them. Uh, we downloaded them all. They're in Lightroom here. Let's just have a look at what we've got. All right, starting from the top, we, we started first with the portrait going running across like this. As you can see, they're all there on the top. Then at some point, we started lifting up. We got to the end and we went higher in the sky and then started shooting the whole series higher. Then starting here, we started lower. Everything went lower from there. And then we did with something really funny. I took the camera and I held it sideways like this. Why did I do that? No. I did this not because it, it helps the panorama, but just to show you the capacity of of uh, Photoshop, what it has with the algorithm of being able to stitch anything you give it together and come out with an image. It did this with all of them. We stitched them that way and then I shot, uh, as I told you on the beach before, all uh, port uh, landscape pictures all the way down here at the bottom. We took all those images, selected them, A, go to edit in Photoshop panorama, boom, hit that, and what do we get? We get this image here. That came out. Uh, with the layers, everything included on it, uh, we had something like, uh, let me see here. Okay, here's the size of the image. It was 119 gigabytes in size with the layers. Once we took the layers out, which we have here now, we can see we've taken the layers out and uh, it's uh, only 12.8 gigabytes in size. That's what happened when we did that. This is the picture which it spat out. It's a bit confusing, it's, it's not quite correct and everything, but with a very little amount of editing, uh, all we need to do is just click on this and here it is, et voila, an edited picture. Uh, no adjustments have been made to saturation, anything at all. Just straightened it, leveled it a bit out, filled in a couple of bare spots, that's it. Now, if you noticed here, there were some bare spots. I could have even held it a bit lower and it would have been better. Even higher at the top here, we would have gotten more sky inside. Uh, but it doesn't really matter because here's the picture, which it comes out. For Photoshop to do this, it used up, it used, oh, how much, what was it here? We have it here. 430 gigs of RAM, you know, half a terabyte nearly of RAM was used to do the 28 processors. This beast was required to do this, but it did spit it out and it took about an hour to do it. All right, so now let's look at the amazing part of this picture here. Uh, let's zoom in on a couple of parts. There's a statue here, 
which is way past the airport. The Bouquet is about five kilometers away uh, from us. And let's zoom in on that and have a look. The Garuda, as they call it here. That's there. That's out there. You can see it just on the sky. But let's look a bit closer here to the local stuff in this area here and see what we, what we see. I mean, here, this is what I call good resolution. Now, let's zoom out and go into some people way out there in the distance, a kilometer or so away, and let's zoom in on them. Look at that. Now, when I look at this picture here, uh, well, hang on, I'm going I'm to show you some other interesting things. These waves and things like that, they're still pretty amazing there. There's some, there's some stitching mistakes. I'll, fi I'll show you, I'll find you one here. Here, there's a stitching line there. There are a few mistakes, but now let's look, zoom out. <laughs> Nobody's ever going to see those. They're so far away, but you can't fix it. So it's there to do it in case you need to. It does make a few mistakes, but by comparison to what we're talking about, it's impressive what it can do. So the reason you do this is uh, because you can, or at least that's what I say, and because it's fun. But also what it does give you, it gives you a, an image which you can make a huge prints of if you wanted to. If you're selling prints and landscape and portrait and things like that, uh, this, this would be good. Here, this is 6.9% are only in size on my screen. This is a uh, 5, 6K monitor, I can't remember, uh, and it's only using 6% of the screen. So you can imagine what size that can be printed at. All right, so I can, in fact, we can just look at it this way. It's uh, The width is uh, 85,984 pixels across. That's, that's pretty impressive. Now, if we're talking in inches, uh, that's uh, 286 inches of the width, okay? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. It was fun. Goodbye. <laughs>